a UK traveller who sued British Airways for £10,000 $18,660 after being made to sit next to a passenger the size of Jonah Lomu and lost, is going to the Court of Appeal. Stephen Prosser, a 51-year-old self-employed civil engineer, claimed that being seated next to this extremely large passenger on a 12-hour flight from Bangkok to London Heathrow left him with a back spasm and an injury causing the sacroiliac joint at the base of his spine to malfunction, The Guardian reported. Prosser, from Tony Pandy in South Wales, said he also suffered a loss of earnings as a result of the incident as he is unable to work overtime because of the back pain. Stephen Prosser claims that being seated next to the extremely large passenger on a 12-hour flight from Bangkok to Heathrow, file photo. Prosser told Pontypridd County Court that the passenger, who he said was 6 feet 4 inches 1.93 meters tall and about 22 stone 140 kilograms, wedged himself into the seat next to him, his body overspilling into my seat by some inches. Read more, asterisk man sues British Airways for $18,000 for being seated next to Jonah Lomu, sized passenger asterisk woman called Smelly Fatty, on flight grateful to hero, fellow passenger asterisk woman says American Airlines mistreated her for flying while fat and black asterisk the plus size blogger bringing body positivity to the world of travel asterisk what it feels like to be the fat passenger on a plane i was immediately aware that this was going to be problematic for me and i could feel the weight of his pure bulk putting lateral pressure on my upper body he was quoted saying this forced me into a position of unnatural posture timothy salisbury representing british airways described the comparison of the passenger to the late nz legend as an exaggeration The judge, however, dismissed his case and accused Prosser of creating an exaggerated picture rather than a genuine account, reports the Independent. Prosser's lawyers hope to overturn the ruling. Timothy Salisbury, representing British Airways, described the comparison of the passenger to the late New Zealand rugby player, who was 1.93 metres tall and weighed 120 kilograms, as an exaggeration. Chris McClendon, the customer service manager aboard the flight, said in a witness statement reported by the BBC that he had very rarely, if ever, dealt with such a complaint. I regularly walk down the aisle and Mr. Prosser was not sat in an unnatural position for an economy seat. When Mr. Prosser left the aircraft, I watched him walk down the jetty in a perfectly normal manner and showed no signs of injury, stuff, 